What's up everybody? This is the Uncanny Omar from Near Mint Condition, the home of Collected Editions. And today I'm going to go over the DC solicitations for October. Now I'm only going to be talking about the Collected Editions, so join me. And welcome back everybody. Before getting started, just want to remind everyone to smash that like button, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications. Let you know when our videos are going live. We are on Spreadshop and Patreon. Great ways to support the channel if you can do so. And thank you to our existing patrons. So what we're looking at today is the October solicitations. And I'm so sorry, I usually do this on Friday mornings, early Friday mornings. But DC finally got the files together because I realized it's San Diego Comic Con time. Everybody's busy. So I finally decided to put the video together. I know a lot of you have asked me where it's at. And here it finally is. So let's talk about these books as they're coming out. Put the picture up there, and the contents and release date down here. First one up is Flashpoint Beyond. Now, this collects Flashpoints 0 through 6. This one comes out on November 22nd. It is a softcover for $16.99. I can't remember if there's been a hardcover announced of this. Surprisingly, this is uh, Jeff Johns, Jeremy Adams, and Tim Sheridan all working together on this particular follow-up. So, it's all set in the world of Flashpoint again, and it is the Batman from the Flashpoint era. And if you don't know who the Batman is, I'm not going to reveal who that is. Do not look at the content information note or the description of the particular book. Death of Superman, 30th Anniversary Deluxe Edition. This is a pretty interesting collection. So instead of giving us a follow-up to the Omnibus of Death and Return uh, and giving us like a Superman Doomsday Omnibus, they're giving us a 30th Anniversary Deluxe Edition. Just collecting the main part of the death of Superman, not the return or the reign of Superman, but the death of. Uh, it looks like they're using the exact same cover that they used for the uh, Omnibus Edition. I wish they had given us another iconic cover, but they decided to use this one again. The important thing about this is that it collects Day of Doom 1 through 4. That series has not been collected previously in omnibus format or in hardcover format. So it's not part of the death and return of Superman omnibus. It's not part of Superman versus DC or versus DC. I'm kidding. I'm more talk pretty one day. Superman versus Doomsday, the softcover omnibus that DC had years ago. This is the first time it's been collected. I think it came out in 2003. It was a miniseries by Dan Jurgens, of course, the co-creator of Doomsday. So... For completest sake, you may want to get this just for that four-issue miniseries. I don't know if it will have a dust jacket or if it will be like the Batman books, where the Batman, Tim Cell, and Jeff Lowe books don't have dust jackets. They're just art on board. But that one is $39.99. Uh, the other deluxe edition, Superman's getting a lot of love in deluxe edition, but this one's finally... Long time in the making, Superman Birthright, the deluxe edition. This is Mark Wade, uh, by um, artwork by Lionel Francis Yu and Jerry Alangilan. Uh, Al Alan Gilan, sorry about that. The late Jerry Alangilan, who was the big inker for Lin Lin uh, Lionel Francis Yu. They worked together on a lot of projects. Uh, I believe he passed away with COVID complications in 2020. So this has a direct market exclusive variant. Now, it's not the first time we've seen a Deluxe um, get an exclusive uh, direct market variant. We've seen them with, um, like, The Last Night on Earth. And so we've seen them in standard size hardcovers, but this is a Deluxe edition. Many years in the making. I'm surprised this is the first time we've had it. So it's one of my favorite Superman stories. It's a great jumping on point for Superman. $49.99. 328 pages collecting all 12 issues of that wonderful story. Wonder Woman Earth One Complete Collection. So this is Grant Morrison and Yannick Paquette's run. All three volumes are collected in one soft cover. Uh, big, thick trade paperback. $39.99. And 408 pages. Pages. Pages! My goodness. Keep it together, Uncanny Omar. Next up is Aquaman, a story by Chuck Brown and Brandon Thomas. The cover there is by Travis Moore. This is a soft cover, $16.99. Collects Aquaman 1 through 6. So it features both Arthur Curry and Jackson Hyde, but also features uh, Mira, and Tula, and Tempest. So, brand. I don't know if it's a... I thought this was an ongoing series. Arkham City, The Order of the World is coming out by Dan Waters. 
and this is coming out in soft cover format. So I don't know if it was available in hardcover format before or not. I don't remember that one being available in hardcover format. Catwoman Volume 1, Dangerous Liaisons, coming out from Teeny Howard and Nico Leone. I don't know if anybody's read this. Let me know what you think about this run. Even though it's a Volume 1, it collects Catwoman 39 through 44, so this is after the Ram V series. Justice League, also don't know how this is. Um, this is the Justice League by Brian Michael Bendis era, Volume 2, collecting issues 64 through 68. This is in standard size hardcover format, $24.99, 192 pages. One Star Squadron, Mark Russell. I love his stuff. So this is the One Star Squadron. It's DC superhero team where heroism meets capitalism. Okay, collecting all six issues of that. This is all being led by Red Tornado. I haven't seen that character around in a while. Soft cover edition, $16.99. Rogues, Joshua Williamson's Rogues. All six issues collected in this hardcover format, $29.99. Really hope we get a Flash Rebirth Omnibus and we have all this stuff collected in Omnibus format one day. Maybe that's just wishful thinking on my part. Speaking of Omnibus, Sleeper Omnibus, the 2022 edition. Do not sleep on this. This is a freaking amazing run. This is Ed Brubaker, Sean Phillips, long before Criminal. Um, I think it was right after they did Scene of the Crime, but you don't need to know who these people characters from the Wildstorm universe are. He does an amazing job of introducing you to this world, but there are some characters from Wildcats that you'll appear, uh, you'll see appear in here, including uh, characters from Gen 13 as well, and like Grifter, but this collects point blank one through five, how the miniseries all led into Sleeper season one and season two, uh, the Sleeper one shot, and the afterward number one. It's a wonderful story, not to be missed, $100.00. 736 pages. Superman and the Authority, Grant Morrison and Mikhail Janin. And this is the softcover format for $16.99. And collecting Superman and the Authority 1 through 4 in softcover format for the first time. Superman, Son of Cal L, Volume 2. Uh, this features artwork in here by Bruno Redondo, who is now working with Tom Taylor on Nightwing, which has been freaking awesome. Also, Clayton Henry and Cian Tormi. And the covers by Dan Mora, collecting Superman, Son of Kal El, seven through ten, Nightwing eighty nine, and Son of Kal El twenty twenty one annual number one. The other side of the DC universe, uh, the entire miniseries is collected in here in this soft cover format, nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents. John Ridley. I got excited when I saw this one. This is World of Krypton. I thought they were going to give us the World of Krypton, World of Smallville. World of Metropolis, all the John Byrne little miniseries to kind of give us a supplementary hardcover. But this is the Robert Vendetti series, who killed it in Superman 78. So I'm excited for this, with artwork by Michael Avon Oming. Available in softcover format, $16.99. And to wrap it all up, Young Justice Book 6. The finale, the last freaking book we need. Collecting Young Justice 45, 44 through 40, 55. Impulse 85, Robin 101, and Superboy 99. So this does have the World Without Young Justice crossover. Uh, I think that starts with issue 44, if I'm not mistaken, of Young Justice, but leads into Impulse, Robin, and Superboy. It's a great series, and this ends Peter David's run on the book. And I'm surprised it didn't include the um, Graduation Day miniseries in here, but... We're finally getting it years in the making because this, I mean, the last volume came out three years ago, I want to say. But we're finally getting a volume six, so never lose hope on one of those future volumes. And if you're interested in purchasing these books, check out our sponsors. CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off cover price. They have excellent shipping and prompt and helpful service. Check out their bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. And don't forget that CGN also takes pre-orders. That way you don't miss out on the hottest releases. And they are currently running a special promotion for you Minties. If you're a first time customer, after receiving your order confirmation email, reply back to that email and let them know Near Mint Condition sent you their way. They will then apply a free shipping promotional credit to your next order in the US. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discount, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. If you live in Europe and are interested in buying and pre-ordering Omnis, then you should definitely check out Walt's Comics shop in Berlin, Germany. They have the cheapest pre-order prices for Marvel and DC books 
within the EU, flat shipping rates of 11 euro and 90 cents for all EU countries, great customer service with sturdy packaging and emails answered within 24 hours. They also offer a superb selection of new titles and out of print books. Just head over to waltzcomicshop.com for more great deals and rare titles. For a limited time, you can use the code near mint condition, all one word, at checkout and get a 10 euros voucher for your first order over 40 euros. Waltz Comic Shop, your reliable source for omnis and premium collected editions in Europe. Ting! Small month as far as collected editions from DC, but I'm sure it's making room for November. So that was the October solicitations for collected editions. Um, let me know what book interests you the most in here. Leave the comments down below. Let me know what you want to see in future solicitations. This was the Uncanny Omar. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay healthy and safe out there. Much love.